So far, this is not old school bullet for my Valentine to me. It sounds like the new stuff. Why saying it's like something from older album? Maybe it's just an intro. Okay, maybe it will be old school stuff when the song will kick in. So hard to tell. And here I have my guitar. Oh, now this is a riff I was missing. Oh my god. And now it's calmer again. It's really hard to understand the structure of this one. Because the part that was really heavy, there was no, not even some kind of vocals. This is more in my taste. Great part, hopefully it will stay with that energy until the end of the song. It needs to. Now I feel like this is something I will like that's coming. Like fucking insane breakdown. Give it to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fucking great ending. Again, not ending with some um, electronic stuff like most of the song on this album. Um, but I'm not sure if I love that one or not. It's really hard to say with only one listen. I was just expecting such a heavy song and it was not really the case. So maybe after a few another lesson or a couple more lessons i'll be able to really dig this one i'll tell you all about that in my review so make sure to watch it because by the time you're watching this reaction the review will be on youtube and one thing i'm asking myself right now and i'll talk about that really uh in deep in the review but why did they change their sound so much after the success of venom there were uh getting to be one of the biggest band out there in the metal scene again and now you go in the complete uh, opposite direction really weird choice but I don't know they really wanted to try something new I know but I still don't get it anyway we still have one song to do uh, one reaction because I'll listen to don't need you on my own but since it's an old song and I already talked about it in the past. I'll just do a reaction for Breed Underwater. So see you all guys with the reaction of this one, Breed Underwater, the last song on the Gravity album.